Okay, I'm off to Joanne's. I was literally gonna skip this week and not be able to do a DIY because it's been a week, but I just got a DM on Instagram, 20 second, no sew, scissors only. So we're gonna go to Joanne's right now. We're gonna see what we find. I'm very excited. Woo! It was a heck of a week. I uploaded like 20 new things onto Rock Knot. Um, and so I was just overwhelmed until Instagram to the rescue. I got a DM from Simone sharing this really cool tool. She calls it a tool poncho in the video, but it's like a tool overlay. Totally no so 30 second DIY that can be worn a million different ways and completely transformed based off the fabric you're gonna do. It could be done in an embroidered tool fabric that you could wear over a slip for like a wedding you have coming up. A stretchy, gauzy, cool printed thing as a beach cover up. You could do it in tool over jeans and a t-shirt. I got the sort of like, netting one. This is not the crunchy stiff stuff. It's a little bit more like drapey. And so I think it's going to fall a little bit nicer. So when you're looking for your fabrics, again, just think about like, you want it to have a teeny bit of weight so that it sort of falls on you. So I did that in the black. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do this or not. I bought this sort of like rainbow ombre three dimensional butterfly situation. And I just thought, wouldn't that be like a fun little mini version? So all you need is two to three yards, depending on how long you want it. The more yards you do, the longer it will be. And some fabric scissors. That's all we need. Off to Joann's we go. Now I didn't have time to head downtown because this was so last minute, but lucky for me, the Joann's in my neighborhood is like the giant, epic, two-story, gorgeous Joann's that has all the fabrics. Um, there were some really cool like beaded lace options that I thought would be epic. I went over to the tool area and this is where you're gonna find the cheaper, more crunchy stuff. I really recommend looking in the area where you're gonna get a little bit more of a slight stretch. I also saw all of these amazing versions that I was like, dang, how cool would all of these be with like a pink slip underneath? Oh, ah, so cool. I grabbed the black and the first thing that I decided to do was cut off the selvage edge. If your fabric's edge looks cool, you don't need to do that. But mine wasn't, it had the perforated edge which just looked like selvage edge. So I cut that off. Now you're gonna fold it in half. The way that this is folded is with the fold on the bottom of the screen. What I am touching right now is the hem. That's gonna be the bottom of my dress and the right and left is going to obviously be the sides, the right and left of my body. I'm gonna take it and fold it in half again. This is gonna help in a couple of ways. Number one, we're gonna see what's even, what needs to be cut, straight, straightened off, all that stuff. Number two, right here in the center corner, fold on fold, if I cut a small little circle, this is gonna put a perfectly symmetrical circle dead center in my fabric, which is exactly what I want. So you do like a quarter of a circle, a little sort of slice right there. And when it opens, it's a half circle. And when it opens fully, it's a full circle. Now we're gonna slice right here. This is again on the fold. So we're cutting on the fold, going towards our neckline. Whatever is not cut, becomes our shoulder. That's the part that's solid and the part that is sliced falls open, draping really beautifully. I left about eight inches closed. Okay, this is super fun. So I put on a pair of wide leg black, just kind of like swishy trousers and the top. Now on its own, just like this is a real kind of like cruise yacht worthy, rich, very expensive feeling ensemble. I do want to try to belt it to create a little bit of structure. So what I think I'm going to do is this is the new, um, it's called the perfect knot belt. It is made with rock soft cording. So it's not going to snag. So this is like super snaggable material, but not with the rock soft. So my thought is I'm only going to belt the front to make it easier. I'm going to put this up on the shoulder just so I know what I'm dealing with. I will put it underneath the back here because that's what it's going to do. And that way I can connect it in the front, make it as tight as I want. And then I'll rotate. Actually, that looks kind of cool. Look at that. Okay, hold on. We're gonna take the fabric on the sides and sort of pull it towards the back. Look at that. That is really fab. This would look, this is like legit wedding worthy. Imagine if this was like lace, lace with like the scalloped edge. The way you would cut it, the scalloped edge would be here. So it would look like that really cool detail, scalloped edge. You could do embroidered fabric, you could do sequin fabric. Just think about the movement because this is like half the fun of it all. Let's get a whole like pool beach moment happening. I gotta say, as a beach cover up, this is really, really, it feels so good, so good. Guys, circle slice. 
and you're done. This is more of that netting. You could get a tool that has no stretch, but I actually think this stuff is really good, especially if you want it to be something that transitions from pool to wedding. I gotta say, I like it with the one piece. Again, you could do your belt situation. You wanted a little bit more structure, like a rope tie belt kind of a thing. It's just so awesome. I hope you guys do this one. It's so easy. Okay, one more. I'm just doing, this is like a cotton, super low kind of a dress. Let's see. I mean, even the way that it is when it's really loose and not belted, just feels really elegant and really elevated and chic. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, honestly, I cannot recommend this one enough. It's so easy and the impact is so high that like you could do this tonight. You could do this in 10 minutes. I'm sure you can imagine all of the ways that this can transform based off what you put underneath, whether you do like something fitted with tremendous volume and then belt it, add cutouts, different colors, obviously totally transforms based off the fabric that you choose. Um, but man, I'm really loving it. It is just so fun and feels like heaven on. So I hope that you guys give this one a shot. And I want to thank Simone so much for sending me this uh, video. I'm going to link the creator who actually did this one down below so you guys can see everything else that she's up to. Debs, um, very cool stuff over there. And if you guys ever see DIYs that you want me to tackle, DMing them on uh, Instagram is always a really great way. I'll take a look if it's something I feel like I can do or that fits me and fits my aesthetic and fits the channel, then I'll give it a go. So thank you, thank you. Um, I will see you next week. We've got amazing, like good vibes, positive affirmation, home decor, really creative, really playful, great for gifts, great for summer. So I can't wait to see you guys next week. Thank you and have a beautiful week. Bye.